One Talk Radio Station. Right, let's talk about the Arab Youth Survey. It is out uh, and it is providing plenty of talking points for us all. Uh, it's an annual survey based on face-to-face -face interviews with 3,400 people aged 18 to 24 in the MENA region. It's commissioned uh, by the Public Affairs and Public Relations Company ASDA BCW, based here in Dubai. Uh, their founder... Uh, and president uh, for the MENA region of BCW and founder of ASDA BCW is, of course, Sunil John, who kindly joins us this morning via Microsoft Teams. Sunil, good morning to you. We can't hear Sunil. Sunil, can you hear us? OK, we've got a little bit of a glitch in the system there, so we'll get Sunil on the phone. I'll go through these findings, Brandy, uh, overnight, having a look at uh, some of them. Obviously, we've got a changing landscape out there, uh, more pressures, but sort of similar sentiment that we've seen in the previous 14 iterations of the survey. Talk me through some of the highlights. Again, it's the, um, uh, the attraction of the UAE. Certainly seems to be the land of opportunity for a number um, of uh, those that have been surveyed. And let's take into account that this is the Arab Youth Survey and then take into account uh, Arab community keys, not just across the GCC, uh, but the Levant and the MENA region as a whole. I think we've been able to get Sunil on the line now. Sunil, can you hear us OK? No, seem to be having a few issues with the uh, uh, connection. Uh, so we will continue to try uh, and get Sunil on. But it was interesting to read uh, that, uh, yeah, the UAE certainly seemed to be the uh, destination of choice for the majority of Arabs. 45% saying they would consider leaving their home country for a better life. 14% say that the UAE is preferred destination. I suppose one of the questions that we'll put to Sunil uh, again is that, yeah, I get this. Uh, Rich, about 10 years ago, when uh, Dubai, the UAE, was a destination of choice. In that decade, we've seen a number uh, of cities across the GCC, across the region, become very attractive, large investments. It's interesting that the UAE continues to hold that area. Let's ask those questions to Sunil now. Yeah, Sunil joins us live on the line. We've been able to get him on the phone line now. Sunil, thanks so much indeed for joining us. Thanks, Tom. Good to see you. Good, Good to, to hear. hear from you. Yeah, no, great yeah. to hear from you as well. Uh, interesting, isn't it? We're looking at the latest findings that you've provided us with. Nearly half of, of young Arabs uh, uh, looking uh, or uh, admitting that they would consider emigrating. The UAE holding on to top spot of the country that young Arabs would choose to make their home. Uh, that's prompted His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, Vice President Ruler of Dubai, to say the economy comes above everything else. Why is the UAE still the land of opportunity for Arab youth? I think, Tom, uh, there's a slight nuance in this, uh, in this finding because we asked a question about to Arab youth across these 17 countries saying, which country would you like to live in and which country would you like your own to emulate? 57%, a record high in the, in the last 11 years, actually, uh, 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 voted for the, U, uh, for the UAE. Uh, so it's more like a model nation question rather than an emigration question. Uh, and, and of course, uh, why is this? Because when we ask the reason, what are the, uh, 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 what, what are the kind of ideas that you associate with the UAE? Five top ideas came through, uh, which you know, 27% of that sample said a growing economy, safe and secure environment, job opportunities, generous salary packages, and of course, the most important, effective and visionary leadership. So that is the reason why they chose the UAE as a model nation. You know, and when UAE is compared, it's compared to the most uh, developed and developing countries across the world. Uh, the second that came in that list uh, was the United States at less than half, at 24 person, Canada at 20, France at 15, and Germany at 15 as well. So very, very creditable and a testimony for the, the, for the leadership and the vision uh, of the UAE. Unemployment is still a major issue for the region. IMF reporting the MENA has the highest youth unemployment rates out there. Um, jobs and living expe expe expenses, including the unemployment problem, uh, the biggest concerns yet again for Arab youth. Uh, is it just a case of twas ever such with this, Sunal? 
I think, uh, uh, you know, we asked this question uh, across the 14 years of our survey. What are the biggest obstacles that young people face across the Arab world? And two have consistently remained at the top. The rising cost of living, which is about 35%, and unemployment at 32%. Except for two years in 2016 and 2017, when the threat of uh, terrorism actually uh, usurped these two key obstacles, this has been a consistent issue. And yes, indeed, uh, uh, Tom, uh, youth unemployment is one of the highest, around 27% as per the World Bank and IMF. But, uh, you know, in certain countries that we actually go to talking to these young people, youth un unemployment is as high as 50 to 60%. But, you know, uh, when, you, when these people look at jobs, there is an interesting green shoot finding, as I call it. You know, the, the attraction for jobs in government has been the big mainstay of young people looking for a job in the government, a sort of a, go uh, a job for life. That has actually come down by nearly 12 percentage points to about 28%. Private sector as well has come down to about 20%. Uh, 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 in terms of, uh, 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 you know, in terms of percentage fall, about 8%. But uh, uh, entrepreneurship or the, the, the propensity to work for myself, to start a SME, has gone up by nearly 10% uh, uh, to about 28%, while government remains at 39%. So you can see that the rise of entrepreneurialism is, uh, is, is a is a great, uh, hmm. you know, green shoot finding for governments to encourage people to look for jobs there. So as you know, Tom, yeah. government is maxed out on jobs. And I think it's important to, to get young people to be self-reliant. Yeah. We've got to leave it there. Unfortunately, it's not allowed to have time on this occasion. Entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well. Uh, Sunil is the president, Mina, BCW, founder of Asda BCW. Five